you want to know why the hell Nicki Minaj blocked me. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Hey, Lala Squad, what it do? It's me, your girl Lala, honey, and I'm here to tell y'all a little story. Okay, so literally, I went to the BET Awards, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And it was so, 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 so cute, you know? Had a real, excuse me, good time. It was low-key boring. But the one part of the freaking show that had me wide open like a prostitute on Melrose Boulevard would have to be when Nicki Minaj hit that stage, honey. Whitney Houston voice, okay? She literally killed it. And I was like, dang, girl, that's everything. And, you know, so while the show is going on and everything like that, I said, you know what? This is powerful. This is a movement right here. Let me go ahead and post it to my freaking Snapchat, you know? My Insta story. Let me share it with my people. So that way they could go ahead and see what's going on at the show while I'm here too, live and in a full effect. You see what I'm saying? Um, honey, I went to go tag her, and at that moment, I realized I'm blocked. Mm, 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 mm. Now, clearly, the whole reason that y'all are watching this video is simply because you want to know why the hell Nicki Minaj blocked me. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, okay, okay. So, I will say that I know why she blocked me. But at the same time, it wasn't even that serious. Okay? So, y'all remember the time when she was beefing with Remy, right? The internet was in a huge frenzy. And I was like, oh my God. Like, what the heck is going on? You know? And so, I'm a comedian, right? I create content that supposed to pique people's interest in dang that was like a petty pickle pick uh, anyways pique people's interest honey and so I made a skit about it right it wasn't like even bashing her or nothing cuz I love Nikki na, 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 Nikki mm -hmm. Roman man you know what I'm saying like I really like Nikki here's the video let me get this straight you just quit and sit back and let her go in on you on a six minute and 45 second song and not even say nothing back you just got your barbie necklace back look at the barbs crying hmm. you have anything to say you didn't see that video that i just posted with beyonce talking about me when she first met Nikki? me Nikki. are you serious right be quiet but roman roman the track is coming i swear <laughs> shut up miley I have faith in you. Call Drake. Call Tucci. Call Safari. Hell, call Meek. Well, not Meek. Anybody. We're waiting for you. We're all waiting for you. Do something, Nikki. Do something. Now, mind y'all, I didn't even, it wasn't even nothing bad. It was just like, we waiting for you, Nikki. Like, don't let us down. We know you got it in you. Like, you the freaking, you the queen of rap. You write your lyrics, all that stuff. Like, girl, come back with a couple of bars here and there. You know what I'm saying? So, the fact that she blocked me after that, I was kind of, well, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that I was hurt, you know. But, I was like, dang, girl, like, we be laughing at all my other stuff together. But you know what? I hate to say it. That be the case for a lot of people. They don't think it's funny when a joke is on them. I ain't gonna lie, honey. I used to be the same way. I'd be sitting there laughing and stuff at people who made jokes, but soon as they turn on me, I'd be like, oh, hell no. But I've learned that, honey, it's okay to laugh at yourself sometimes. You know what I mean? Shoot. But anyways, um, here's the thing that confused me, though, right? After she had blocked me, y'all remember when she was like, um... You hoes can't even spell proc or I forget where it was. Um, but anyways, she was on, you know, headed to the private jet and stuff like that. And 
I recreated the video still because it had went viral. And somehow that video ended up on her page and I was like, Nikki, why would you block me and then repost my video like that? You know, I was just, I was, I, I was confused to say the least, you know? So, but even, child, my dog is going to town on that freaking food and it's like, I can't even be mad at her. But I don't understand why she always want to freaking eat and drink while I'm filming. Food been up in her face all day long. And now she wants to eat all loudly. Anyways. So yeah. After that, I was just like, okay. You know? And the thing is, the worst part about it is, I told myself when I meet her in person, I'm going to say, girl! Can you unblock me now? The beef is over. Like, I just want to see what's on your... Well, I just want to see what's on your page from my regular page. I don't want to have to go to my backups to see what's going on with you, sis. I like you, girl. Like, dang. She ain't got to do me like Safari and stuff like that. Like, I just, I'm rooting for her just like he is. But anyways, um, yeah. Her performance was everything, honey. Still love the girl. I don't give a finna. Like, you know, I get it. But one thing that I did hear literally is that, um... People don't, people just don't be liking to, you know, have a joke on them and stuff like that, which is cool. I, it ain't for everybody, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the story, whatever. I just wanted to share with y'all real quick and, um, let y'all know because a lot of people were interested. But, uh, let me think. Is there anybody else who blocked me? Oh, I know. Y'all might not remember these people or um, know who they are even for that fact. But uh, literally, I don't know if y'all remember uh, Benzino and Althea from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Benzino is the one who didn't have a neck. Anyway, so literally, um, back like a couple, I think it was a couple years ago now. But anyway, I had got on Instagram and they was doing excuse me, all the memes about straight out of Compton. So I did one about Benzino and I said straight out of neck. And you know, I was joking, you know, and he know that everybody say he ain't got no neck. It's just a funny thing, you know? Ooh, look, I gotta cut my lace. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm just testing this wig out on camera. A new wig, not to mention, honey. Get into the cut. But anyways, um, yeah, so I said straight out of neck, and at the time they were really, really like in love, all that stuff. So I said that, and she came in my comments and said straight out of acne medication. Honey, at that time my face was a lot, you know. Um, but I wasn't mad, but there was a lot of stuff that was going on with her at the time. And honey, I was like, well, you want to go to war? Let's go ahead and go to war. So... But I was like, it's the comedic war. Because I'm not about to walk away from the situation mad. But literally, um, honey, we went back and forth. Then Benzino was like, it's over. Back to our program, blah, blah, blah. And I was I was like, oh, lit. It was cute. But she blocked me. But I did get to see her later on in person, right? And what happened was, she was like, oh, my God, you're so funny. And I was like, how would you know, girl? You got me blocked. I instinctively said that. And she was like... No, I don't. She was like at a loss for words. She was very, very shocked at everything, honey. But, um, I mean, I didn't say it in a negative way. I was just, you know, I just said it. And honey, it's still, you know, I don't, I don't behave in no beefs with nobody on the internet whenever they block me and stuff or anything because, um, I'm not about to have issues with nobody from an internet based problem. You know what I mean? I leave my online world and the online stuff and then in person, um, I'm totally nice and all that stuff. Like, I don't care. I just don't care. I use the internet as like a source of income and entertainment. And I suggest that to all of y'all as well. But neither here nor there, that concludes my people who I got blocked from, from on the internet and yeah, I don't think there will be any more because since then I've learned how to, you know, like, 
be more aware of people's feelings and I don't ever want to hurt somebody's feelings if I feel like they can't take my jokes. So, um, anyway, thank y'all so, 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 so much for tuning in, honey. And make sure you tune into the next one. By the way, I want to go ahead and announce the winners of the giveaway. Um, these two lovely ladies right here. Do, 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 do. Thank y'all so much for playing. And just know that there will definitely be more giveaways, honey. So stay tuned, okay? And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!